In this video, we present an overview of the functionalities and information contained in Box 6 of Keza 2.3. Box 6 is the library of the elements used for chemical safety assessment and reporting. These are determinant types, which correspond to the description of a condition of use, specific environment release categories, also called SPERCs, and specific consumer exposure determinants, also called SCEDs, which are developed by industry sector associations and are sets of input parameters meant to be used across various assessments, and standard phrases. Standard phrases can only be imported from external catalogues, such as the ESCOM standard phrase catalog. For more information on standard phrases, see Cefix website. When available, catalogues of standard phrase translations can also be imported. Those catalogues have to be available in a KESA compatible format. During import, KESA will check the file and compare the phrases with those that already exist in the library. If needed, it will also request the user to decide on whether to overwrite existing phrases. To run a simple search in the standard phrases library, enter a keyword or leave the query field empty. In this case, all the phrases from the library will be retrieved. To restrict the search by using two or more keywords, use the wildcard percent. The query by keyword, or string of keywords, retrieves the standard phrases that contain those in any of the fields English phrase, catalogue name and originator, or in the fields of the catalogue not displayed in Keza, original code and ESCOM ID. To perform a more targeted search, use the advanced search functionality. This will retrieve the standard phrases that meet all the criteria entered. Phrases can be hidden, unhidden or deleted. If a phrase selected to be deleted is in use, in a chemical safety assessment or in a determinant type, it will be set as hidden on deletion. If not in use, it will be permanently deleted. The original catalogue imported to Keza may also contain phrases set to obsolete. Please note that standard phrases that are set to obsolete or hidden can be retrieved only by performing an advanced search. Regarding the determinant types, Keza is distributed with the ones needed for the plugged-in exposure assessment tools. In a fresh installation of Keza, run a search with the query field empty to retrieve those determinants. To create a new determinant type, the first step is to select the target group workers, consumers or environment and the category quantitative, qualitative or risk management measure with effectiveness. The create edit determinant type dialog box is specific to the selected category of determinant and target group but the structure is similar to all determinant types. The upper part contains a field in which to type the label of the determinant type. It also displays the target group and category selected and the status of the determinant type. The remaining information is organized into three tabs. General attributes, value information, and administrative information. In the General Attributes tab, select the exposure or release routes for which the determinant applies. The options available depend on the target group previously selected. For determinant types related to worker exposure, 
The possibilities are inhalation, dermal, and eye, except that eyes cannot be selected for RMMs with effectiveness. For determinant types related to consumer exposure, the possibilities are oral, inhalation, dermal, and eye, except that oral and eyes cannot be selected for RMMs with effectiveness. For determinant types related to environmental exposure, the possibilities are water, air, and soil, except that in this case, soil cannot be selected for RMMs with effectiveness. The use conditions types correspond to the subheading in the exposure scenario under which the determinant is reported. These subheadings help the various determinants to be sorted by type of use condition. They are displayed in the chemical safety report, but not in the exposure scenario for communication. In the field description, provide information on the context in which the determinant may be used. In addition, it is possible to indicate the exposure estimation tools for which the determinant is relevant. Such information will not be reported in the CSR or in the ES for communication. The potential values of the determinant type can be reported in the value description tab. When creating a determinant type, at least one default value must be defined. For RMMs and qualitative determinants, it is possible to define several values corresponding to different situations for the given determinant. The value description tab depends on the determinant type category selected. A quantitative determinant type enables the reporting of a condition of use in the form of a numerical value. Please note that if the determinant is not related to a plugged-in exposure estimation tool, then the value as such is not used for any calculation in KESA. To create a quantitative determinant, in addition to the label and general attributes, the following inputs are required. A default value, which can be modified by the assessor in each assessment case. Minimum and maximum values, although not mandatory, can be defined to restrict the range of possible values during the assessment. A qualifier, also not mandatory. A unit. The indication whether the determinant is relevant for the exposure scenario to be annexed to the safety data sheet. This checkbox is selected by default. It can be deselected if the user considers that it is not relevant to communicate, by default, this condition of use in the safety data sheet exposure scenario. It will nevertheless be possible for the assessor to decide on a case-by-case -case basis whether the information related to the determinant should be communicated directly in Box 5 of KESA. And a default description of the conditions of use which will be printed in the safety data sheet exposure scenario. One or several standard phrases can be associated with the values of a determinant. Such phrases will be used by default for communicating the conditions of use downstream as soon as the determinant is part of a CSA. Qualitative determinant types enable the reporting of conditions of use in the form of text. A qualitative determinant type can have different values corresponding to different conditions of use. Click the Add button to enter each of the values for the determinant. In this case, the value should be a short text characterizing the conditions of use and an explanation should be added to describe the value with more detail. This will be reported in the exposure scenario in the CSR. Indicate if the value is relevant for the safety data sheet exposure scenario and add a default description of the conditions of use to be printed in the safety data sheet exposure scenario 
as explained for the quantitative determinant type. Finally, select the default checkbox to indicate whether the value should be used as a default when the determinant type is used in an assessment. RMMs with effectiveness determinants enable the reporting of risk management measures with a numerical effectiveness value. This value is used by KESA to calculate releases or exposure. This type of determinant can also have different values corresponding to different conditions of use. Click the Add button to enter each of the values for the determinant. As for the qualitative determinant types, the value should be a short text characterizing the conditions of use and an explanation should be added to describe the value with more details. This will be reported in the exposure scenario in the CSR. Insert a default effectiveness value for each of the routes selected in the General Attributes tab. Add an explanation and potentially define the range of allowed values to help the assessor select the appropriate effectiveness value. The assessor will later be able to select an effectiveness value within the range provided for their specific case. To disable the possibility of modifying the default effectiveness by the assessor, set the minimum and maximum values equal to the default value. Finally, as described for the quantitative determinant types, indicate whether the value is relevant for the safety datasheet exposure scenario. Add a default description of the conditions of use to be printed in the safety datasheet exposure scenario. And select the default checkbox to indicate if the value should be used as a default when the determinant type is used in an assessment. In the case of qualitative and RMMs with effectiveness determinant types, the Edit button in the Value Description tab allows editing previously added values while the determinant type is not finalized. To delete a value previously added to the determinant type, select it and click the Delete button. Once the mandatory information is entered, the determinant type can be finalized. If not finalized, a determinant type cannot be used in an assessment or in a SPERC, nor exported but it can be saved in the database. A finalized determinant type cannot be modified except its standard phrases and the obsolete status. The functionalities Import, Search and Advanced Search work in a similar way as explained for the standard phrases. In addition, determinant types can be copied and, if finalized, can also be exported. In box 6, the user can also create SPERCs and SKEDs in KESA format. However, it is expected that those functionalities are used only by industry sector associations and not by single assessors. SPERCs are used for environmental exposure assessments. Each SPERC is a set of information describing specific conditions of use and the corresponding release estimates to water, air, soil and waste. They have been developed by sector groups of the chemical industry to refine the emission estimates obtained by using the release factors of the environmental release categories or ERCs. SCEDs are used for consumer exposure assessments. They correspond to sets of exposure determinants describing product characteristics and habits and practices of consumers. Once developed by industry sector associations, the SPERCs and the SCEDs fact sheets can be converted into KESA files. Using the function create, the sector associations input all the information from the fact sheets into KESA and then export it. 
An export file is generated which can be posted on the association's website to be imported and used by assessors. For SPERCs and SKEDs, the functionalities Import, Search and Advanced Search also work in a similar way to that explained for the standard phrases. To view the information on a SPERC or on a SCED, select the item and then press Edit. Finally, you can generate a text document that contains the information contained in the SCEDs and SPERCs. Select one or several SCEDs or SPERCs, press the button Create SPERC Report and then save the file. Please note the Help Text light bulb. Throughout the application, if clicked, takes the user directly to the relevant place of the user manual, where further information on the related functionality can be quickly retrieved. This was an overview of Box 6 of Keza, where the assessor can manage determinants, spurks, skeds and standard phrases. You can find further information on Box 6 in the support page of the Keza website.